Hey guys, welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Hope you guys are doing great today. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you are well. But let's get into our email. I think we only have three. Yeah, we got three. Sometimes I feel like this game doesn't give me very many emails when we end our day or something. I don't know. But I guess we'll do these three. Uh, let's start with this one. It says, hello, got a request for a new PC sub level zero Redux. My favorite game right now. I've never heard of it personally, but maybe it's good. Maybe it's good. So it has to run. Can you get it done in four days? I read that G skill parts are really good. Don't try and pass off any used parts. I want all new stuff. So a budget of $2,750 to play a sub level zero Redux at recommended spec. I think we can make that happen. Let's go ahead. Let's accept that one. This next one. Oh, it's it's for the same game. All right. <laughs> this next one says, "Hello, build me a PC. I need a new rig. Do you think you can get sub level zero Redux running? I read that team group parts are really good. It's urgent, so please hurry." All right, so a budget of $4,250. Play the same game, sub-level zero redux at recommended spec. I'm pretty sure we can make that happen as well. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Then we've got this repair here. It says, Dear Sir Madam, my rig is broken. I'm not sure what's wrong. Can you have a look? Nothing happens when I try to boot it up. Is my CPU broken? I think I clicked on something bad. I was on PC Bay the other day and saw some awesome plastic yellow cables. Regards. So a budget of $2,000 diagnosed and fixed. There must be something seriously wrong with this PC. Seriously wrong. We'll go ahead and accept that one though. Let's uh, let's pull up Will It Run? Cause we've got two games, two games, two builds. Play a sub-level zero Redux, recommended spec. So two gigs of RAM, four gigs of VRAM. Giga storage, Ryzen 5 1400, and a Radeon R9 384 gig. So it must not be too hard of a game to run. Must not be too bad. Let's go back to this one with the big budget. I'm going to step away. I'm going to get some parts put in the shopping cart for this build, and I will be right back. All right. So for this first build, we're going to go with the Asus ROG Strix X570i Gaming. It's a mini ITX board. We're going to put a Ryzen 9 3950X in it, an EVGA, a 240mm AO water cooler, two sticks of Team Group T-Force Extreme RAM. It was 8 gig, 4,000 megahertz, a Zotac RTX 2080 Ti, one terabyte Patriot Viper M.2 drive, 480 gig Team Group M.2 drive, two Team Group T-Force Delta RGB SSDs, both of them are one terabyte. We're also going to put in an 850 watt Antec power supply. We're going to add in one fan. We're going to pack all that stuff into a tiny little case. It's the Ragen Tech Ophion. Maybe that's how you say it. Ophion Evo. Tiny little case. Lots of stuff going in it. Ought to be a whole lot of fun. All right. So this next build is for the same game and uh, they want G-Skill parts. They've got a little bit smaller budget. So I'm gonna step away. I'm gonna get some parts put in the cart for this build and I will be right back. For this next build, we're gonna go with the Gigabyte Z370 Aorus Gaming 7 and i7 8700K, a Kraken X6 II, two sticks of G-Skill Trident Z, eight gig, 3200 megahertz, a Gigabyte RTX 2080 Super, a Gigabyte was it two terabyte? I believe it was two terabyte NVMe drive, gigabyte, 750 watt power supply. We're going to put all that in the NZXT H440, the PC building simulator limited edition case. Okay. I'm not sure we're going to get anything out of this, but let's look at their stats real quick. I5 8400. Maybe they're, uh, RTX 2080 Super went bad. I'm trying to figure out their $2,000 budget. I suppose... I suppose we're just going to have to get it in and see what's gone wrong. I did accept all of these, though. 
Let's go back to our shop. Let's buy everything for next day delivery. Let's go end our day. We can get in our parts and our repair. Get to work. Oh, it looks like rent's due. <laughs> rent's due today. Okay, let's get this case up here. Take a look at that in a minute. Look at this tiny little case over there. Let's get this case over here. Let's get the right names with the right people. Hungry D. Hungry D goes with this one. And Hungry Sheila. Are these two people related? Hungry D and Hungry Sheila. Hmm. Could be. Oh, one of them's getting a really big case. One of them's getting a little tiny case. Guess we'll see how that works out. Let's take a look at this thing, though. Let's get the side taken off. Let's see if it powers up. Uh, that graphics card's fans are not spinning. Power this thing down. Let's get this graphics card. What? Whoa. That thing is glitching out. Let's get this graphics card out of here. We'll check that first. So it is indeed broken. An ROG Strix 2080 Super. Let's go add one of those to the cart. There it is. But I feel like they may have other things wrong. So let's get their liquid cooler out of here. Uh oh, not that. The liquid cooler. Let's close that. Let's take a look at the CPU. I actually take a look at their cooler as well. Cooler looks good. Let's take a look at their processor. Looks like their i5 8400s also broken, so let's go get one of those. Processor. Was it an 8400? I believe so. I believe it was. We'll double check here real quick. 8400, okay. Should we check their motherboard? Just to be safe. We've got to unplug all these cables anyway. They want yellow cables. Let's grab their M.2 drive. Let's get their RAM out of here as well. Let's pull this motherboard out. Let's take a look at this. Take a look at their motherboard. Motherboard looks fine. Let's put that back in. Let's get this thing ready to put their RAM back in. Let's check on that. We'll make sure that, yep, that's still good. Get that installed. Check their storage. M.2 drive's just fine. We'll get that back in. Should we check this power supply? Oh, we never took this side of the case off. Get this side of the case out of our way. Check this power supply. Power supply is good. Let's get that back in. Okay. Should we just check this just to be sure? We've checked everything else. Yeah, oh, their drive's good. Let's go order this stuff. Same day delivery. Let's get their CPU reinstalled. Let's sell off that broken one. We don't need that clogging up the inventory. And then we'll grab their graphics card. Get rid of their broken one of those. Get the new one installed. 
see. We need some thermal paste. And we need their CPU cooler. What? How was that in there before? That's pretty weird. Man, I didn't take this fan out. <laughs> How was this in here previously in the same spot with the fan there? And now it doesn't fit. I bet I can't get that fan back in either. Nope. What in the... What is going on? Um, this is an interesting little uh, issue here. That needs to be in there. Because it belongs to this customer. Okay, thermal paste. What am I looking for? Cooling. There's Z63. It will not install. What? Alright, well, I guess... I guess they're not getting their fan back. Hope that doesn't screw up our ratings. Feel like it is. Definitely feel like it is. They want some, is it orange or yellow? It was yellow. Go double check. Plastic yellow cables. All right, well, we'll cable this thing up, hopefully. Man, maybe I'll stick that fan in the front of this case. Is there room? Looks like there's room. Let's get this fan. Sure. All right, you're getting a fan just right in the front of your case because it's your fan. I don't want to be accused of stealing, that's for sure. Let's finish cabling everything up here. See if this power's on. Let's hop into the BIOS. Let's let's take a look. See what's going on in here. Let's turn their X and P on. And we have oh they've got the two drives, but they're booting from the right one. Let's see what happens. Is it gonna tell me there's no operating system? Oh look! There we go. There we go. So I think we should probably run a virus scan on this. Let's get a USB drive in there. Let's get the virus scanner on. Will this thing restart? That's so weird that this fan would not go back in the same spot it was. Huh. Let's get this virus scanner running. 374. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Let's get this case put back together. Let's get this PCI lock on first. And then get the side panels. There we go. Get this out in the hallway. They'll have to deal with their fan situation on their own. Let's get started on this build. Get the top of this thing off. Let's get the side panels off. Get some room to work. There we go. Well, let's grab our motherboard. Got the Gigabyte Z370 Aorus Gaming 7. Let's get that installed. There we go. Let's get this thing ready for a CPU and RAM. We got the i7-8700K going in. As well as two sticks of Trident Z RGB 8GB 3200MHz. 
Get that installed as well. While we're at it, let's get some storage in this thing. They're getting this Gigabyte Aorus 2 terabyte NVMe drive. Let's get that installed. Get some thermal paste on that CPU. We can go ahead and get the cooler installed as well, which is this Kraken X62 280 millimeter. Oh, look, I'm having the same problem. Let's get rid of this rear fan. Get out of here. We don't need you. We got three fans in the front of this case. It'll blow plenty of air through that back. Not a problem. Cooling is not going to be an issue for this thing. All right, let's get the graphics card. Got the Gigabyte RTX 2080 Super. Get that installed to grab the power supply. It's also Gigabyte. This is Gigabyte everything. 750 watt Gigabyte power supply. We'll screw in the unnecessary screws and then we'll come back and put the PSU mount on. I still haven't fixed that. It drives me nuts. It drives me nuts on these some of these NZXT cases. Oh well. Oh well. Let's get this thing cabled up. Let's not use yellow. Let's see. Do we have some blue and white? We do. Let's use that. I think that'll go nice. Not quite the same color blue, but it's close. Let's get everything cabled up. There we go. Let's get this case put back together. Get these side panels on. So this thing's basically done. We may change some colors. Let's grab a USB drive. We'll get that installed as well. And we'll power this thing on. Hop into the BIOS. We will turn on our XMP. We'll let the OS install. Okay. Get the lighting app on. See how bad it looks. It's not too terrible. Not too bad. We're going to change some colors. Let's make everything white. All the lights. There we go. There we go. That looks nice because that was already lit up white. We've got a little white around the top. Looks good. Looks good. We'll turn the UI off. Much nicer to look at without that in the way. Well, let's get this out in the hall. Let's start on this tiny little build. It's getting a whole lot of stuff packed into this little case. Get this all taken apart. There we go. There we go. All right, let's get our motherboard in. We've got the Asus ROG Strix X570i Gaming. It was on this side of the case, actually, so we'll get that installed. We have a lot of stuff in this case when we get done. Get that out of our way as well. Let's get our CPU. We've got the Ryzen 9 3950X going in there. Also got two sticks of this Team Group T-Force Extreme 8 gig, 4,000 megahertz. Get both of those in. That's pretty nice looking RAM actually. Not bad, not bad at all. We've got a ton of storage going in this. A ton. So they wanted team group stuff, so we're gonna load them up. So that actually attaches back here to the back of this, and we can attach another M.2 to the front side here. So we're gonna put one here under this little cover. So now we've got two M.2 drives. One's a one terabyte and one. This one, this team group is 480 gigs then we're going to add these two team group one terabyte 
SSDs up here in the front. Just your standard SATA SSD. It's already getting crowded. Let's get these out of the way. Got a big graphics card to go in here in just a moment. But before we do that, let's get our power supply in. We've got the Antec High Current Gamer. 850 watt power supply. Let's get that installed. Get some thermal paste on that 3950X. And we're going to get CPU cooler. Got the EVGA CLC 240. It's actually the only one I think that will fit in this case. For some reason, these hoses aren't movable. So if you don't find the proper hose that's got the right bend in it, it will not fit in your case. Let's get our case fan. We've got the Inwin Polaris RGB aluminum. One little fan in this thing cool all of this stuff one little fan all right let's get our graphics card in we're just about ready to wire this thing up got the zotac 2080 ti amp extreme all right i think we're ready to cable Let's grab these plastic plain cyan cables. Start cabling everything up here. Get everything cabled. There we go. Let's put a little bit of this case back together. Guess we can put the whole case back together, actually. There's not too many pieces to go on it. What? What is that? Why? Why? Why won't the side of this case go on? I don't understand. Saying that hose is in the way. This side goes on. All right, well, let me see if I can figure out what is blocking this. And I'll be right back. All right, so just because I figured people wouldn't believe me. I don't know, maybe, maybe you would, but I removed the CPU cooler and put it in a couple of times. And guess what? That's all I did. <laughs> Side panel fits now. Um, yeah, yeah. I I don't I don't understand. But it's in there. Let's get this thing put back together. Yep, it all fits. I don't get it. I don't understand why I had to remove it a couple of times and put it back in, but that seemed to work. So let's start it up. Let's hop into the BIOS. Let's turn our XMP on. What drive? What drive should we boot? Let's let's do the team group one since they since they said they wanted team group stuff. Oh yeah, we need to change some colors. Let's get the lighting app on. So we can get our colors changed. There we go. Make everything match our cooler. There we go. That looks nice. Looks real nice. I like that. Cool little case. 
Forgot to uh, turn the UI off and actually look at it. It just looks better. It just looks better without the UI in the way. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get it out in the hall. Let's get it to its new owner. Oh, good. We got a few more emails. All right. Let's uh, let's see how this one did. Four stars. I don't really know why, but that's cool. We'll take your four stars. Let's see what we get for this one. <laughs> Why did I think that was going to happen? Maybe because that side panel just didn't want to fit. Had this happen a few uh, few episodes ago. We built a really nice PC. Customers said they were happy with it, but still gave us one star. I think the game's trolling. The game's trolling. This one's five stars, so we'll take that. Take that. Let's go ahead. Let's pay our rent. Hope you enjoyed your month. All right, we got some daily deals, and we got three emails. I may have to uh, may have to skip a couple of days or something here uh, when I'm not recording, just so we can get some more emails in. So we're not just having to do the three that show up. But I'm gonna end the episode here. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe. Be sure to wash your hands. And I will see you in the next episode.